So if you want to display more than one market on BetAngel at a time, there are a number of ways in which you can do that. And this is what this video is going to show you. If you want instant access to new videos as they're uploaded, then please click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to comment on the videos. And if you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So the simplest way to display more than one market at the same time on BetAngel is to fire up another copy of BetAngel. You can use multiple copies. Um, with BetAngel you can install it on as many machines as you like or use as many versions as you like and that's fine. We don't have a problem with that. Um, it's licensed by Betfair username and therefore um, if you use it with a single username you can install it and run as many copies of it as you like. However there are a number of other ways of doing it and the easiest way uh, to show you is if you go to file and select a market. You can do this on any market selection area. If you right click uh, on a market you can actually go down here and you see it says display market in new ladder window and there you go there's there's a, another market open at the same time that you can trade. You'd obviously resize and reposition that depending upon where you want to put that um, but you could have just one ladder to 16495 maybe not, uh, but you could actually display two of those at the same time. And if you wanted to, there's no reason why um, we could go to the, that market there and display another one on top of it. So you can see you can actually spawn, is the technical word, multiple versions of the ladder. Um, very, very easy to do. It just involves bringing up the market selection menu and right clicking it. And wherever you see a market selection, you can right click it and do this. Very simple to do. If you want to get a bit cleverer, there are other areas that you can work in. So if you go into Guardian, Guardian will actually um, give you access to multi-market features. And when we go into Guardian, I'll just drag it across from over here. You add markets into Guardian that you wish to use. I'm just resizing this to make the presentation a little easier. There we go. You can add markets into Guardian so you can see it's busy populating uh, the markets as we speak. And when you're active um, and in Guardian you could right click here and achieve the same thing that we've just done. Or what you could actually do is you could actually uh, mark a set of markets uh, such as I've done here. And then if you actually go to the watch list you can actually add them to a watch list. So you can see at the moment it's synchronized with Guardian's list of markets. There's no need for you necessarily to do that. You could put racing in one, football in another, tennis in another, and it will work on all of them. Um, but here we've just said sync with Guardian's list of markets, which is sort of what I'm doing here. In fact, why don't I untick that and I'll show you. So we've marked these markets here, add selected markets to watch list, and then that, that group will be displayed in watch list one. But you can see you can have up to five watch lists. If I display that watch list, there are the markets there. So if you want to uh, skip backwards and forwards on that, uh, that's really, really simple to do. And you don't have to display all the information, you can just display one line. And then if you want to skip to that market, you can just click on it. And that will basically transfer you instantly to that particular market. Or, if you want to, you can actually do all of this at once, if you uh, so wish, if, if that's your bidding. And if I just close Guardian in the background there, so we could actually, if, if we look at this example here, if I want to jump to a market uh, within BetAngel, then it's just a question of clicking on it. And you can see it will transfer to it very quickly. And again, we can right click and spawn a new ladder. So let's spawn a ladder for uh, the, 20, uh, the 10 past 8, I should say, rather. And you can see that that spawned a ladder there. And if I use this pin option, that will basically keep it on top and then we could uh, spawn another one uh, behind that if we so wished and I will pin that to the top as well so you can see there's a almost infinite range of ways of being able to display multiple markets simultaneously the watch list is handy because you can store watch list one two three four or five or you can put them all in one watch list over here and then you can jump backwards and forwards quickly and bring it to focus in the center of the screen if you so wish but there's no reason why you can't spawn additional markets uh, within there um, and have ladders popped up and populated all over the place if you so wish but also don't forget uh, if I just minimize these for a second 
that actually Guardian tells you a lot about what's going on um, within the market. So if you have markets in Guardian, you can look at matched, unmatched bets, any automation you've got on it, uh, what actions you've performed in that market, the current odds and the P&L, and all of those other items. So in fact, there are an awful lot of things um, that you can get out of Guardian itself. So Guardian is actually built uh, perfectly for looking at multiple markets at once if you have loads of markets open. Uh, but you can either do that or you can spawn uh, markets in the manner that I've shown you already. There are many ways of doing that within BetAngel. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com and download a free trial today.